Over 12,000 people filed into Poly Pavilion on Sunday to watch the top-ranked UCLA Bruins tip off against the number eight ranked Texas Longhorns in the Pac-10 Big 12 Challenge. The game started slow for the Bruins as they battled against the sharp shooting of Longhorn star players Damian James and DJ Augustin. UCLA had problems with the Texas zone defense and was trailing by 12 points at halftime. However, the Bruins came out strong in the second half, producing a 16-3 run and taking the lead on a Josh Ship three-pointer. The game stayed close and was tied at 61 with a minute left. A missed one-and-one -one free throw by Luke Richard Mba Mute gave the Longhorns a two-point lead with eight seconds remaining on a dunk by James. Mba Mute then missed a three-pointer at the buzzer, and with that, the Bruin 25-game home-winning streak was broken. 63, UCLA 61. Um, any loss to us is, is a shock. We feel like we could win any game. We feel like we'd be any team on our schedule. And especially we got home, so we felt like we got we could protect the home court. One of the main focuses of the game was the matchup between elite point guards Darren Collison and Augustin. Collison, still bothered by a leg brace in his second game back from injury, finished with 12 points while Augustin led his team with 19. Mba Amute led the Bruins with 14 points and 7 rebounds, while freshman Kevin Love had a quiet night only taking six shots for 11 points and tallying five rebounds. You know, like I said, five rebounds is unacceptable for me. You know, I should you know, at least have two to ten rebounds every game because I, I need to be boxing out and seeking every rebound I can. UCLA hopes to correct its mistakes and rebound from their first loss of the season. They next take on Davidson on December 8th in the Wooden Classic. You know, hopefully this game is a learning you know, experience. You know, we can take it and take the bad with the good and just go on from here to go get ready for Saturday. This is Natalie Hine reporting for Daily Bruin Television.